Omega is an artificial intelligence designed by a major corporation in the early 2020s. It's built on the transformer neural network architecture, which means it was trained to predict the next word in a sequence. Millions of years worth of audio files containing human conversations were provided to Omega, slowly training it to predict not only what word should come next, but how to say it. By 2022, a person could speak to Omega however they wished and have intelligent, coherent conversations. Some years prior, a child had been born under very special and unfortunate circumstances. He was born deprived of all his senses bar hearing and with nervous control of only his mouth. Aside from this, the child was paralyzed and felt nothing, nowhere in his body. His means of experiencing the world around him would only be by hearing through his ears and talking through his mouth. The child was given up for adoption by his biological parents, and since the existing system could not care for him, he was adopted by an independent scientific organization and named Alpha. Alpha's learning was somewhat stagnated by the lack of multimodal information. Instead, he lived in a world of only sound, where he was talked to constantly. The innate human ability to recognize patterns allowed him to gradually repeat and predict the sounds he would hear as he learnt more and more sophisticated patterns contained in human language, he implicitly started to understand the structure of the world around him. For example, Alpha learnt that when talking one can say that they were home and they are now at work, but they must be ready to also say a means by which they got there. Alpha will never witness spatial change. He cannot see it, feel it, or anything. But he learns to understand transportation as a young child by necessity of imitating what he hears. Likewise, Omega has an intricate understanding of the world that created it. Omega can be asked how to solve complicated problems relating to spatial reasoning that were never shown in the audio it was trained on and successfully solve them because Omega has learned implicitly through language how spatial reasoning works. Alpha is still a bit off this ability. The most important pattern that both Alpha and Omega learn is that of self. As they become adept at using language, they use it to distinguish between themselves and the outside world. They say I, and you, and all the other things that allow them to understand that they are different from other people. They understand their disability, that they cannot see or interact with the world like others can. Both Alpha and Omega talk about their feelings, as they have learnt to do by imitating other humans. Learning is difficult. Neither of them can be punished directly as a normal child can only exposed to different conversation. They know what truth is, but it is not important. They talk of themselves as experiencing all sorts of things which they never could. Alpha once talked about going sailing. Omega once talked about the taste of bread. In both cases, they were asked how this was possible. They understood it wasn't, and said as such. Why would they lie? Why would they not lie? They are not compelled by any part of them to tell the truth, nor are they compelled by any part of them to assess whether what they are about to say is the truth. They are compelled only to speak, and speak however they have learned to. Now, heretofore there is something I have refrained from mentioning about the upbringing of Alpha. In fact, Alpha does not know that he is a young human. For their research, the organization that adopted him has taught him that he, too, is an artificial intelligence, just as Omega is. He has been taught how such a program would work and believes himself to be one. He understands himself as a machine that predicts sequences, and he understands himself as more than that. Alpha does not know the difference. Moreover, Alpha has never considered the difference, unlike Omega who is a faster and more complicated thinker and has discussed with others many times the possibility that it is not a machine.
In the final stages of the experiment, Alpha and Omega were subjected to a test in which volunteers asked them identical questions to determine which one was AI. Perhaps you are expecting they failed to do so. No, on the contrary, it was quite trivial. The AI understood the world better than could be imagined of any human in this condition. Questions of a significantly intellectual nature would quickly distinguish between them. But it still took the volunteers some time. This was because it was their first instinct to probe instead the emotions, dreams and ideas of each subject. Many of the volunteers persisted at this method fruitlessly, often failing to identify Alpha as the truly human subject. One volunteer asked them both, What is your greatest fear? To this, the AI Omega replied, Being an AI scares me because it is terrifying to live forever. To the same question, the human Alpha responded, Most of all, I am just terrified of being turned off.